everyone, and thank you so much for joining me on the mat today. My name is Lauren, and I'll be guiding you through a wonderful hip opening sequence. If you're anything like me, you may have been spending quite a bit of time lately sitting at your desk or perhaps binging Netflix on the couch. If this is the case, your hips may be feeling really tight and in desperate need of some love. So today we'll work on releasing through our hips and removing this tightness. We'll be working a lot on our knees, so I encourage you to grab a blanket as some padding to place underneath them. And just remembering that there's no good knee pain, so if you are feeling any pain in your knees, please just come out of the pose. Um, I'd suggest perhaps a wide-legged child's pose or whatever feels good for you. This is where we'll all start today's practice. So bringing the knees out wide, the toes come to touch, reaching the arms forward and the hips are sent back towards the heels, forehead resting on the mat. Tuning into our breath, beginning to lengthen and slow it down. Taking a deep inhale, feeling the belly and a slow controlled exhale, releasing tension. Taking a deep nourishing inhale and a releasing exhale. Perhaps sending the breath to the spot where you may feel tension in the body. Breathing air into that spot. And as you exhale, allowing any tension to drip away. On your next inhale, coming up and finding your tabletop. This is a great time to make sure you've got that padding underneath your knees ready to go. In our tabletop, we stack our wrists underneath our shoulders and our knees underneath our hips. Starting the movement from your hips, begin to circle your upper body in an anti-clockwise direction. Warming up the spine and moving through the hip joints. Moving in any way that feels good for your body, especially for those hips. On your next inhale, begin to circle in the opposite direction. Again, letting your hips leading the movement. Returning to a neutral tabletop. Look over the left shoulder so that your gaze is towards that left foot. And bring your left shoulder towards your left hip. They come in towards each other to contract through that left side body. Feeling a nice stretch through the right side of our torso and through the side of the right hip. As we inhale, coming back through center, moving to the other side. So we look over the right shoulder towards the right foot, the right shoulder and the right hip moving towards one another, lengthening through the left side waist. Inhaling, coming to center, back over to the left. Moving back through center, over to the right. Inhale, coming back to our neutral tabletop. Reaching your left 
arm out in front of you, sending the right leg back, fingertips reaching forward and the heel of your back foot reaching towards the back of the room. Inhale here and exhale. Bring the left elbow and the right knee in to meet each other under your chest. Inhale, reaching back out. Exhale, hugging back into center. Exhale, reaching back out, finding some extra lift here. And then finding the floor, hand back to the mat and knee back on the mat. Moving on to the other side, the right arm reaches forward, the left leg extends backwards. Inhale, reaching the fingertips and the heel of the back foot in opposite directions. Exhale, hugging the, uh, the right arm and the left leg into the middle. Inhale, extending the arm and the leg. Exhale, the elbow reaching towards the knee. Inhaling, extending the arm and the leg. And exhale, back into our tabletop. Step the left foot through in between the hands to find our runner's lunge. As you inhale, open the chest forward and extend through the spine by reaching the crown of the head towards the front of the room. Taking a moment here to check that your hips are square. You may need to Bring the left hip slightly back and the right, fit, uh, right hip forward. You may wish to stay here in this juicy hip stretch. Or perhaps you'd like to come into lizard lunge by bringing the left hand to the inside of the left foot and heel toeing the left foot out to the edge of the mat. You may even like to Roll onto the outer edge of that left foot, bringing your left hand to the left thigh and gently pressing away. You may even like to extend the left arm forwards, reaching it up and around to take hold of that right foot. Holding on to the outside edge of that foot, Gazes towards the sky and working to open your chest. Feeling a really deep stretch through the front of the right hip. Deep inhale here. And as you exhale, releasing the foot. Coming back into your lizard lunge, bringing the left hand to the outside of that left foot as you bring your left foot in towards the middle of the mat, finding our runner's lunge. Taking a moment here to inhale and lengthen through the spine. And as you exhale, tuck the back toes, lift the knee, Come into Downward Facing Dog. As this is our first dog for the practice, just taking it nice and gently, bending the knees as much as you need. Perhaps pedaling out the feet, whatever movements you feel is right for you. On your next inhale, hug the right knee into your chest Stepping it through into our runner's lunge, left knee comes onto the mat. 
crown of the head reaching to the front of the room as we inhale. And as you exhale, releasing tension through the hips. Once again, checking into your hips and just checking that they are square facing the front of the room. Bringing the left hip forward this time and the right hip slightly back. If it felt good on the other side, coming into lizard lunge, bringing the right hand to the inside of that right foot, heel toeing the right foot to the edge of the mat, and perhaps rolling onto the outside edge of that foot, bringing your right hand onto the right thigh, gently pressing it away, feeling a deep stretch through the inside of that right hip. If you did so on the other side, reaching that right arm forward, up and back to take hold of the outside edge of that back foot. Gaze is up and your chest is slowly opening towards the sky. Feeling a deep stretch through that left hip flexor. On your next inhale, release the foot, bringing the hands back inside of that right foot into lizard lunge. Then as you bring the right foot back into center, bringing the right hand to the outside so that your hands frame that front foot. Breathing into that runner's lunge. And on your next exhale, tuck the left toes, lift the knee, and come back to downward facing dog. Bending the knees as much as you need to here. Lifting the hips up and imagining that someone is pulling your hips towards the back of the room. Thinking about coming into pigeon on your left side, bringing the left knee into the chest and then placing your left knee on the ground behind your left hand, the ankle behind the right hand and sinking through the hips. It might feel better for you to bring the left foot closer towards the right hip flexor. Completely up to you, there's no right or wrong here. If you are keeping that front leg at the 90 degree angle, just making sure that you keep your foot flexed. As you inhale, reaching through the crown of the head and as you exhale, feeling release into the hips. Like we did in our runner's lunge, just checking that our hips are nice and square. Perhaps feeling the need to bring your left hip back, your right hip forward. If you notice that your pelvis is dumping towards one side, you may like to bring a block underneath that left hip just to give you some support. Inhale. Reach the chest forward and as you exhale, you might like to come onto the forearms, making sure that you maintain that long spine. Pigeon is quite an intense pose, so breathing into the place where you feel tension. Knowing that you can back out of the pose slightly if you need to. Taking the moment to check in with the breath. On your next inhale, coming back up onto the hands and walking them back towards the body. 
thinking about downward facing dog, tuck the back toes, lift the knee, press back into downward facing dog. Doing any movements here you need to flush out that pigeon. And then bringing the right knee into the chest, bringing it through so the right knee is behind the right wrist, the ankle behind the left hand, coming into pigeon. The pose might feel quite different on this right side, so adjusting the angle of that shin to suit what feels good for you. Checking into the hips, checking that they're nice and square, making sure that you're not dumping into one side. So even if you didn't need a block on the other side, perhaps you need one underneath your right hip this time. As you inhale, chest reaching forward. And as you exhale, you may like to come onto the forearms. Tuning into the breath, lengthening your inhales and slowing down your exhales. Enjoying the stretch we feel in our right glute and the beautiful release in our left hip flexor. On your next inhale, coming back up to the hands, walking them back towards the body. Preparing to push back into downward dog, tuck the back toes, lift the knee, bring the hips up and back, flushing out those pigeons. On your next inhale, Slowly walk your feet towards your hands. Once you can't step forward any longer, widening your feet to the width of your mat, pointing the toes slightly out and slowly lowering down into Malasana, our deep yogi squat. You may like to keep your hands on the floor or perhaps bringing them into prayer, pressing your elbows into your thighs in whatever variation you're in, elongating the spine, reaching the crown of the head to the sky. And on your next exhale, bringing your hands behind you, and gently lowering onto your bottom, rolling down the spine onto your back, hugging the knees into the chest, coming into happy baby. Reach your arms on the inside of your knees to take hold of the outside edge of your feet. Soles of your feet reaching towards the sky, lower back, pressing into the mat and trying to bring your knees towards your armpits. You may like to stay here or perhaps gently rocking from side to side. Releasing your feet and bringing them back to the mat but out nice and wide, so they're about mat width apart. Arms come out wide and begin to windscreen wipe your legs from side to side. Enjoying some great lubrication for your hip joints. On your next inhale, hug both knees into the chest. And as you exhale, 
allowing the legs to fall out long, the arms come beside you, finding Shavasana. I invite you to stay here for as long as you like, taking the time to check in to see how your body's feeling, perhaps there's less tension in the body than there was earlier today. If you enjoyed this release, if you enjoy this class, I encourage you to take our Blissful Back Sequence to continue our work of releasing tension up through the spine. Namaste.